Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a folder, and you just have to do this one time, uh, where we'll put all of our C programs for the for the semester. Now I'm going to come up here. Um, whoops, um, you can do the Finder if you have it there, but um, I'm going to go ahead and click the Finder, the little blue and white individual down here, and um, I'm going to put mine on the desktop. So probably not the best place to put it. So I'm come here, right click, choose new folder, and I'll say my C programs. Spring 2021. You can call that whatever you want. Okay, so now um, I'll go ahead and leave that up and running because I'll use it here in a minute. If you go to your Apple and you go to the App Store. And under the search, you search for Xcode. Um, it's a free package. Um, if you have an older Mac, you won't be able to run it, probably. Um, but uh, you'll have to sign in at some point in the App Store. You should have a sign-in already for it. Um, if not, there, it's free. Um, so you create an account. And at first it says Get, and then it says Install, and then it says what well, it says now, Open. Okay. Now I'm going to click the Create a New Xcode Project. When this comes up, I'm not sure what's chose to begin with, but you want to choose the Mac OS and you want to choose the command line tool. Click Next, and we'll give it a name here, uh, Project Math. You have to have an organization title here, so it doesn't matter what you put there, but you do have to put something there. Um, and then language, we do the drop down or pop up as this would appear, you need to choose C. Click Next. Ah. Now it asked me where I wanted that. And I created my folder in Desktop, so I'll go click Desktop. Um, this is where I want to do it, so I'll double click on that. Comes up here, don't be overwhelmed by what you see. Um, over here on the left hand side, you see the main.c. Click that, and that'll open up our, our file. And this is where we want to put our code at. So int num1, num2, and sum. And printf input number one. Scanf percent d ampersand num1. Printf input. Number two, scan F, percent D, and ampersand num2. So then I'm going to have sum is equal to num1 plus num2, and print F, the sum is percent D slash N. And then some. And again, I'm not explaining what any of that is because I already explained that in the class session video. Now to run this, up in the left-hand corner, you see where my mouse is circling, there's the Run button. You click the Run there, it'll come up and tell you Build Succeeded, so you don't have any errors. And I got this here, so I click click to the right of that, and then I can type in 3 and 4, and then I'll add them together. Now, let's come up here, and I'm going to get rid of this back, or the semicolon there. I'll type big P here. There we go. You can go to run it. it. tells you build failed. Even more than that, you see these red, um, red uh, question, or stop sign. If you click that, it tells you, okay, expected semicolon after the expression. Uh, insert semicolon. So it thinks that this is what will uh, fix the problem. So you can click fix to, to go ahead and apply that. Here, if I click the mouse, printf is invalid, fix in stdioh. This would not be a good good choice um, because we don't, we don't want to uh, correct uh, the standard uh, input output um, file. So I'm going to click the X there. And um, you can see it puts a little red uh, line underneath. So come over here and put what should be there. And now if I run it, 
and it'll say build succeeded. And I click down here, put three, and then four. Okay. So now I'm going to make sure it's saved. So I do a file save, Xcode, quit Xcode. Close that. Um, over here in our finder, you click the little blue and white individual, and then um, click desktop if it's not already clicked. My C programs, if you double click in there, you'll see the um, project we just created. Now, if you double click inside, you'll see the individual files, but we don't want that. We want to be back at our main folder. Whenever you're zipping up anything, you want to be back here. Now, I'm going to right click on this, and I'm going to say compress project map. Like that. If you're wondering, if you double click that, um, put a new folder out there. If you double click that, you can see that the ad did install everything. Back here, then I'll right click on this and choose move to trash. Now, this is what we want to upload. So let's go upload that. Okay. Um, Let's see, I go to this one, I guess, just to show it. Browse local files. Um, if it's not already selected, you choose the where you, and now if you put it in documents, you choose documents. But I put mine in desktop. Uh, if I click this, uh, then the files come up over in this window, and you see I got project map, uh, dot zip. So choose that. I'll say choose for upload. Now I'm in I'm in uh, instructor mode here, so I can't click the submit. But you would click submit uh, at this point, and that's how you can create your C programs on a on a MacBook.